It's a scene that plays out every weekday afternoon in any town USA. A mom waiting for the kids to come off the school bus. Little friends and siblings ready to play nearby. But this American scene is not the American dream the people at this bus stop had envisioned. This is the Palm Court Hotel on Highway 29 in Pensacola, the middle of Car City. For a growing number of families, these motels or hotels are home. In some cases, for years. Tell me what got you here. How long ago was it when you first moved in? It's been about two, a little over two years ago. Joyce doesn't want her friends or family to see her on television. She's not thrilled to be living here at the age of 64, but she feels safe. I feel blessed. Do you? <laughs> yeah. How come? Because I have a roof over my head, and I have people that I know that will watch out for me, and I know that um, you know, everything's going to be all right. <laughs> it will. That's a view shared by 33-year-old Nikki Jenkins. She's been here for about two months with six-month-old Mika, three older children, and their father in a single room. Dad works construction. Despite the motel setting, the after-school routine is really no different than at my home. They have homework, and then they get, they get the snacks, and then they do the homework, and then they want to come out and play out here. And dinner is in the planning stages. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> I was supposed to go to Walmart to go do a little shopping, but last night we had chicken, fried chicken, uh, macaroni and cheese, green beans. I cook a, cook a whole meal. Nikki gets food stamps and tries to save enough money for an apartment. But it's slow going when you have to scrape together enough for first and last month's rent, a deposit, and a power bill deposit. A power bill she couldn't pay forced the family out of their last apartment. Here at the motel, rent is just under $700 a month, tax included. Water, electricity, cable television, and even internet access are included. And you can pay by the month, by the week, or even day to day. In some cases, owner Alan Patel will let someone slide for a few days to help them out. It's not a great business model. I understand that, but you've got to help people out. You've got to look out for each other. Patel has owned the hotel for 20 years. To say the business here has changed is an understatement. In the last few years, since 2008 or 9, the clientele has totally changed. Our business basically is local customers and few of them commercial customers, but tourists and all them, we get overflow, that's about it. Highway 29, overall it has changed. It used to be really good. I think number one exit for Pensacola area, but now there is nothing on 29 except for the car dealers, and the road is dying basically. The road may be dying from a hotel standpoint, but it's alive with cars as Jeanetta Collins and her family try to navigate the six lanes to get to their room across the street. She says they get locked out of their room at checkout time every day, and then try to find the money for another night while the kids are at school. Living paycheck to paycheck is a lofty dream in her world. But as the hotels along Highway 29 struggle just to stay open, their vacant rooms and cheap prices are filling a need. They provide the emergency accommodations that keep many of these families from sleeping in cars or worse. You're not getting rich serving this kind of clientele. I'm getting poorer. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure everybody doesn't really like to be here. I mean, I wish they, I'm sure people would like to have a big, nice house, you know. We've all had it, but it's all right. You seem to be pretty happy. It's yeah, yeah, it's okay. I mean, it's, it's, it can get hard. It can get hard, but for the most, home is where the heart is. And my heart is with my family and my kids. So we're home as long as we're together. If this place weren't here, where would you be? I don't know. 